Alright guys, just another quick uh, little video about the latest we just got in, which is the um, Avengers Mark 7 Battle Damaged. Uh, you can't really see the box very well because of plastic, but exactly the same as the other ones. Uh, obviously just a slightly different picture on there, but it's the same like pixelated design. Exactly the same. Just the uh, Mark 7 on the top there. Let's give a quick scan over him. And I'll show you what he comes with. Which isn't a lot to be honest. Uh, so he does, obviously he comes with his um, articulated hands, just standard knife for the uh, Iron Man. Uh, he comes with his two repulsor blast hands and the little wrist guards to go with them. And two of the little uh, missile uh, pods we can swap. And uh, sort of swap out, put on his arm there, and uh, this is the head. What he comes on, what comes on him, which is obviously the battle damaged one. It's all banged up, and uh, it's the same as the. Um, Same as the um, Mark 7, it's just a magnet at the top. And you got your little, um, uh, I've still got the tag in, but the switches there. And then he comes with one of these, which is the same as what come with uh, Captain America, which you just put on the base. Uh, this is what he, he did come on one of these, but uh, I swapped it out for a ring one because this isn't designed very well for this base, which I'll come to in a bit. But. Let's look at the base. So the base is huge. It's, uh, it's obviously got the uh, Chitauri uh, soldier. Dead on some sort of like rubble. Uh, the paintwork is all um, quite bland, really. It's just like a real, like a sort of turquoise uh, blacks, dark brown sort of silver helmet, and then he's just got this real bright blue patch on his hand uh, but it's a solid base it's not uh, hollow and uh, you obviously put your stand in the back there uh, yeah but the one thing about I was saying this he should have really come with a transparent pole and the clamp to go around his waist for the stand because um, there's not really that many places you can put his feet, they're flat, so you've got to put them sort of on, something on there, and then this, he sort of sits too far forward for this, so you're constantly sort of tipping over the edge of it, so if I was your, if you get this figure I wouldn't trust him on that, personally. So then we get to the figure, uh, this is the other, this is the Tony Stark head sculpt. Which is nice, sorry about the lighting guys, it's not as terrible in this room, it's either too bright or too dark. You never get it right. But uh, it's a nice battle damaged one. And uh, you, you don't get a face plate with this one. And it's got this chin piece is sort of locked open, you can't move it, and it's got sort of like little metal uh, parts sticking out there. And 
obviously he's got a sort of banged up face of blood over him. But yeah, I think it's a really nice sculpt. And then the figure, there's not really too much to say about the figure, it's exactly the same um, as the Mark 7, obviously just uh, slightly different battle damage panels put on the chest piece and then obviously the paint work it's painted really it's a lot uh, duller paint work than um, the uh, standard Mark 7 I don't know if you can see that that's the Mark 7 up there and uh, you can't really see but it's a hell of a lot shinier than all this one is this one is proper a dull down. I'm banged up, but it's still exactly the same. The only uh, parts you get these two flaps with them, but you don't get the uh, two top flaps. Because obviously you get the. Uh, you get these parts which are the slimmer version. You, you can take these out and fit in the parts of the other Mark 7 but they also don't look right because they're a completely different colour so um, it's not going to look very good really. I can't remember in the film if in the film if he did when he ejected all the missiles out of his shoulder. I don't know if the, those flaps did sort of eject off or not, but they're not on the figure anyway. So and then there's obviously a switch for his chest. You don't get all the swap out parts either for this one, like the um, different shoulder pieces, the different thigh pieces and that. Just what you see is what you get with this one. But uh, yeah, he's, he's nice. Um, is he worth the money they charged for him? I would say that one I paid $249. This one was 295 from Sideshow. And uh, so they slapped on an extra $45. Which obviously you do get the extra base, but um, you do lose a lot of the extra parts that the uh, standard version come with. So, uh, so it's just up to the individual whether you think he's worth the money or not. But yeah, he's cool. I'm, I'm pleased with him. So you then guys, um, any questions you've got just leave them in the comments box, I'll try and get back to you, and um, I'll catch you later, take care guys.